In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a patch and how to integrate Python Flask with it. Let's get started with a root account. We install a patch dnf install httpd. Yes. complete. We change to the configuration directory. See? Conf. We copy the original configuration file to another for backup purposes. Copy. Configuration file. Backup file. We edit the configuration file. We comment out this line for security reasons. HTTPD processes are not running yet. PS minus yet. Grab HTTPD. We start a patch. A patch control start. Now HTTPD processes are running. Let's check if the patch server is working properly. HTTP IP address of your instance. Okay. The default test page appears. The Apache server is running normally. If your local browser cannot access the Apache server in your instance, please check the AWS inbound rules. Open AWS each to console and go to the security group. Add this rule to the inbound rules. HTTP port is open to all users. We create a simple web page. Grab document root httpd.conf Document root is var www.html we open a test HTML file. vi hello.html Hello world. It's a very simple web page. We open a browser and access the test HTML file. Public IP address slash hello.html Okay, it works. We are going to install Python Flask with Python 3. Python 3 is already installed. Python 3. This is version. Its version is Python 3.6.8. We install Python Flask. Pip3 install Flask. Okay, it's installed. We create a simple Flask web application. We change directory to document root cd var www.html vi test app.py The source code is very simple. Import flask. 
create a flask app. Attach a route slash to the app. Index is a function corresponding to the route slash. When a user accesses the app with a route slash in the browser, index function is called and returns this string to the browser. If the app is executed from the command line interface, and then run the app with host 0000 and debug mode true. Before running the app, we must add an inbounder. Open AWS EC2 console, go to the security group, add the following inbound rule. Type is custom TCP, protocol is TCP, port is 5000, source is 0.0.0.0. We run the test set, python3 testset.py This is a development server. Do not use it in a production deployment. The app is running on http colon slash slash ip address colon 5000. 5000 is the default port for Flask in a development server. One seven two blah 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 is a private IP address which is used internally. We need to use a public IP address to access the app with our browser. Open a browser, type the public IP address 54 blah 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 is a public IP address colon 5000 OK the test Flask web application works, and we can access it with browser. This way of running the app is for development purposes only. In production, we use a production WSGI server instead. A patch is a good WSGI server which can be used in production. We are going to learn how to integrate Python Flask with a patch. We need to install mode WSGI. DNF install Python 3 mode WSGI. Yes. Complete. We modify the Apache configuration file vi httpd.conf We add WSGI module WSGI script alias test app var www.html testdep.py Save and X. In order to combine testdep.py with a patch, we need to slightly modify testdep.py vi testdep.py We add an else block else application equal to app application variable is used in mode wsgi so do not change the variable name we restart a patch a patch control restart In production server, 
port 5000 is no longer used slash test app ok the test flask web application works integrated with a patch In more detail, we check the value of the variable underscore underscore name underscore underscore. In development server, Python 3 test at the pi port 5000 is used and the value is underscore underscore main underscore underscore in production server port 5000 is no longer used slash test app the value is mode WSGI and some string. Test data pi is owned by root account. It is not a good idea to use the root account in production service for security reasons. We want to use normal ist user account in service. To use the ist user account for services, we need to configure some settings. S minus LD home ist user. We add Execute permission for others to home is to user. Change mode O plus X home is to user. Execute permission is added. We check the context. S minus L D Z www.html The context is httpd syscontent t ls minus ld is home ec2 user The context is user from dir key We change the context of ec2 user to HTTPD syscontent t change context minus t HTTP syscontent t home is to user The context is changed. We copy test data pi to home is to user. Copy var www html test data pi home is to user. S minus L Z home is to user test data pi. The context of test pi is automatically httpd syscontent t. We change to root account. We edit the Apache configuration file. vi etc httpd conf httpd dot conf. We change the path of the test app script to is to user. Home is to user. 
In order for our path to access the EC2 user directory, we need to add a directory configuration. Directory home is to user allow or write none, options none, require or granted. We restart our patch. Our patch control restart. Public IP address slash test app. Okay. The app is running under the ist user account, not the root account. The value of name is also changed. We summarize this video. We install a patch. DNF install HTTPD. We install Python Flask. PIP3 install flask to integrate python with our pets we install mode wsgi dnf install python 3 mode wsgi we configure httpd.conf the wsgi script alias is set for python App script. We use ist user account for services. Add execute permission for others. Change context type to httpd content t. Add a directory tag for home ist user. Thank you for watching this video.